If you have the new iPad Pro, the new MacBook Pro, or any other new laptops that provide limited types of connection of USB-C, you definitely need a perfect companion so you can get all your ports and connections back. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. Thank you so much for all your support. If you're a return subscriber, if you're new here and you enjoy tech content like this, please consider subscribing. And at the end of the video, give me some feedback, let me know if you liked it or not. Let's get to the video. This is a thin aluminum mouse pad, a USB hub with a ton of connection. Let's open it up, check it out. We're gonna connect it and see how to use it. All right, so let's see what we have in the box. This looks very shiny. USB Type-C cable, the mouse pad itself. This is very thin, as you can see. It has these really nice shaved edges that makes it very, very shiny and gives it a nice premium look and feel. Here are the ports that we have, RJ45, three USB, SD and micro SD card. You would use this side to connect to your device, whether it's your, your Mac, your laptop, your new fancy iPad Pro. So I just realized I was talking literally for about 20 minutes talking about this and I realized I had forgotten to push the record button on my camera. So this is take two, but you guys don't see take one. Anyways, let's get to this. So um, what do you get? Uh, so this, is a very slim, very sleek uh, mouse pad and you get all these uh, ports in the back. So if you are having a new device such as a new MacBook Pro, a new laptop or the new iPad Pro with one or limited number of connection, this will be fantastic to be able to extend the possibilities. So in this case, let me walk you through how I may use this with my iPad Pro. So the first feature is with the new iPad OS 13 that was released, which is in the beta right now, and I'll put the link down in the description below, you are able to attach your mouse and use your mouse on the iPad. But I don't know why, which is very disappointing, you are not able to use your expensive, shiny Magic Mouse 2 with this device. However, any other wired mouse or other Bluetooth uh, mouse you're able to connect and use. First, let me show you how with the iPad OS 13, you can connect your Bluetooth mouse and then I will show you why this is useful in my case. So first, you need to go to setting, go to accessibility, touch, assistive touch, scroll down, pointing devices, and Bluetooth devices. It will start searching, and then if you have a Bluetooth mouth, it's going to show right here, and you can select it and connect with it. In my case, because this is not working, I can simply use a good old wired mouse USB and immediately use it with the device. So once I connect this to the hub, because the hub is connected to the iPad Pro, it would immediately recognize and it's plug and play and I would immediately be able to use the mouse. Once I plug this in, you will see the pointer on the screen. There you go. So you can use it just like that. You can click and drag, you can scroll, And normally I would not be able to use my basic mouse with my iPad Pro, but using this device I can. So this is just simply one benefit of it. Another benefit is with the iPad OS 13, you're also able to access external hard drives and use the file system to access those files. So for example, if you have an external hard drive, such as the Samsung SSD T5 that I have, I can go ahead, connect this to the USB hub back here and also be able to access the files on this and my iPad. So it really controls my workflow if I'm on the go. Another benefit of this mousepad hub is the material they have used basically makes this 
uh, essentially almost like waterproof or splash proof, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is made out of aluminum. So if you spill anything on this, all you have to do is just wipe it down. There we go. So what are some of the pros and cons of this USB hub? Right now, this sells on Amazon for 40 bucks and you get a really nice USB-C hub. It's also a mouse pad and it keeps it very slim and it's basically a multi-use for you. You get your three USB-C, your micro SD and SD card and RJ45 jack. Uh, the only I wish I have for this product is a lack of power through port. So I wish I would be able to connect my hub to the wall outlet so I can charge my iPad Pro as well as any other devices that I may connect to this. But besides that, just as a standalone hub for 40 bucks, this is fantastic. So like I said, I have the link down in the description below. If you guys decide to purchase one, that is an affiliated link and this is how you can support me and my channel. All right, and before I forget, I will be giving away this unit. All you need to do, go ahead, subscribe, turn on the notification, comment down below, let me know why you want to win one and don't forget to like this video so a couple of things to mention real quick one is the material of the pad itself on the back is some sort of a, a non-slip uh, plastic it doesn't uh, scratch your surface on my table it slides uh, slightly but it's not very noticeable. The other thing I wanted to mention is, even though I said you can uh, uh, pour liquid or water and you can easily wipe it down, this is just for the surface. The hub itself is not waterproof, so do not get any liquid or water inside these ports. And the last thing is uh, about charging your third-party devices. And while I have this connected to my iPad Pro or my MacBook or any other laptop, I can connect my third-party devices such as my AirPod or my iPhone and charge those while I'm working with my iPad. This concludes the review of this product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget, link down in the description below. Give me some feedback. Let me know if you like this video or not. As always, thank you so much for your support and watching my videos. If you have not subscribed yet, please consider doing so and turn on the notification so you won't miss my next video. See you in the next one.